Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day so far. Welcome to my channel Aquasmander, my name is Nicole Marion. Here a time step for reference, you can also check on the description or comments video down below to click directly to the part that you need. As always, I'm going straight to the point with what you guys and girls want. This is a video about uh, the Ecotech Marine Iridium G5 Blue with the T5 of Gizman. I record all the T5 individually along with the Radeon G5 Blue and then I do all the combination possible so you can make your own choice at the end. I use the Aquatic Life Hybrid Fixture 24 inch version with my lab tank. I call it the lab tank because it's not a display tank to look beautiful but it's an aquarium where I test different products and make observation before making videos. Initially, I didn't record all the T5 alone because I need two T5 per side. There's like a, on the hybrid fixture of Aquatic Life, there's like a two ballast and I need to connect uh, two T5 per ballast. Uh, but a day later, I figured out a way to turn around this problem. Uh, I have like old T5 balls that I kept uh, just in case. I don't know why, but I'm glad I did. And I put uh, black tape uh, around the T5 with a double layer. So like this, I can put two T5 at the opposite side and I use a black uh, duct tape uh, T5 to simply make the electric uh, connection. So like this, I have no leak uh, from the light and we've got all the T5 lightning alone in the tank. Obviously putting duct tape around T5 is not a great idea because T5 do generate heat. Uh, last time I checked the temperature, it was at 80 degrees Celsius. So I run my T5 only for a couple minutes the time I finish the record of the view with my camera. Uh, Sometimes I can smell a little burn from the duct tape, so I think I'm playing with the fire like literally to make uh, those uh, video. So every time I make a switch, I wait 5 minutes with a chrono on my smartphone during the night. Uh, so the T5 gets its full potential sort of speak. I notice when I'm doing the power reading at the beginning of the T5 when it's cold, uh, the power reading is seemed a little bit low. Then if I wait like five minutes, it seems to gain uh, his peak of the of the power. Uh, there is a difference maybe of like 15%, I will say, or something like that. So perhaps it could also alter the color a little bit. So this is why I took my time making those videos and maintain the same workflow uh, for all of them all the time. I record three times all this footage because I found like maybe one mistake, uh, like the tripod of my camera that moved because I kick uh, with my feet or like a different flow in the tank also. Uh, then I got uh, like a new idea how to make a little bit better. So there's a lot of like hours I went into this, but if you have new idea, uh, let me know. I'm always open to critics. I have to thank Gizman that helped me making this video. They sent me T5 by my request a long time ago and they have been like super patient. For this video and order, I put their name on the top to avoid any confusion with other brands. I've been told also that if you have like ATI for example, they are not the same and even if they look close to each other, these men have their own production for the best performance possible. The power reading you see on the bottom left is only for reference comparison only. I made this data so you can understand the difference of power that T5 can do. At the end, LED can output more power. So I won't use like the T5 for the power, but to cover the spectrum that the LED doesn't cover and fill some of the shadow that the LED spotlight can create. For the spectrum, I took the picture on both website company and I tweaked them a little bit so I can overlay next to each other. They are not perfect, but you can use them to give you like a general idea. Now here's the thing, I do not own a spectrometer to measure all this data but I really want to buy one, not for me but for you guys, the, the viewer, the, the aquarium community. I invest a lot of money so far on this channel and it's an amount that <laughs> you wouldn't believe. Uh, I may do actually a video about this one day because it's crazy expensive for me. The spectrometer is very high on my list of priorities, but it's in a very expensive piece of equipment, so we will need to wait a little bit before I can accumulate enough money to buy it. So all the money that I do with my real-time job uh, goes directly to this channel for the past two years. I sink a lot of money to make independent videos and remain 100% honest and with you, my viewer. And that is something that I set the bar right away when I started to make my YouTube channel. I set some objectives that I wanted to accomplish 
and being honest and like be 100% transparent with everything that I do was one of the objectives that I set. So I will always remain with that because it's just me. Uh, I'm always being a neutral person with everyone, even with my family, I always remain a neutral. Now I'm starting to think like, should I launch a Patreon page? Like, I'm not quite sure. Um, that will help me a little bit to, uh, to buy the equipment for this channel. Um, yeah, but anyways, like I, I don't feel comfortable uh, with uh, this, like uh, asking or receiving money. But uh, if you want to contribute uh, on that, so just let me know. I will create an account for Patreon, and uh, maybe uh, like I will just like give a link. And if you want to contribute, but I don't know. Like I feel like it's too early right now, uh, despite the, my effort in the last past two years. But um, let me know if you if you want. Just to give you like a, a perspective of how uncomfortable I am with money, uh, I've been able to put ads on my YouTube videos, but I refuse to put the ads for the like the past uh, I think three months. Uh, I just don't feel comfortable with that either. But the thing with YouTube is like they they promote videos that contain ads because they make money out of it. So I'm currently, at the moment I'm doing this video, I'm currently doing a test to see if uh, YouTube will just promote a little bit more of my videos. And if it promote the videos, uh, I will just put the ad like everybody else, but uh, I never felt comfortable with money and ads and all this stuff. But uh, if I have to do to so people can see my videos, uh, I will do it. Alright, enough with this uh, chit chat. Let's go back with the Gizman T5 and the Equitec Marine Radian G5 Blue. So after making all those videos, uh, I started to just take a look of my videos and see the comparison. Take a look also with the Spectrum, and I had like some sort of like revelation uh, when I saw all this uh, stuff. Th there is like one combination that seemed to stand out very well compared to all the other combinations that I've seen so far with any LED and T5 combination. And I'm very surprised by this. And I can see a lot of potential behind this one. But keep in mind that the Radeon G5 Blue, uh, you can always tweak a little bit the, the color channel with the Mobius app. So keep in mind that like even if you don't like uh, some like uh, the, let's say the purple, you can always tweak a little bit uh, to remove from the, the LED light also. And this is one of the great advantage of having LED. You can do a lot of thing with them. Now the combination that I'm going to show you I think that it changed my mind concerning the, the Radeon G5 Blue versus the Pro, which one to take. And just because of that combination, I think I might go into with the Radeon G5 Blue. So here are the option number one. Super Acnic with the Super Purple with the Radeon G5 Blue. It's one of the strongest combination that I've seen so far. Having the Super Acnic will help with the UVs uh, and the low spectrum side of the color. So if you have like Anacropora, Acropora and other uh, some sort of like SPS like this, uh, I think they will benefit with this. The Super Purple will also give like a wider spectrum and I'm a big fan of purple so it's a very very cool combination. Now if you don't like the purple, I have another option. So the option number two is the Super Acnic with the Aqua Blue Azure. Super Acnic for the same reason again, it filled the spectrum gap and the Aqua Blue Azure is to provide a much wider spectrum that can also help to please your eyes. I know some people use the Gizman Tropic, but I think the Azure doesn't go too white so to speak. So the Aqua Blue Azure bring a little bit of white look which can be difficult to obtain with the Radeon G5 Blue. You could go with the Aqua Blue Coral also, which is a little bit whiter than the Azure if you want. Now I have a question for you, now that you have seen all the, the footage from this video, what is your combination? I, I'm curious to know and please uh, let me know down below in the YouTube comment section, uh, let's, let's share your favorite combination. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video, bye bye.